Hey. You have made me addicted to balloons, not complaining, Toe. <laughs> very cool, very cool, very cool. You like it raw? All right, guys. Let's do this video here. We got, we're got we up to part nine. People say it's going to start to get juicy at nine or it's ten. I don't remember exactly. But we're getting there. Okay? And we're excited. We're very excited. So, this is the Christian, a comprehensive history part nine. Let's do it. Let's get excited. What made him this way? <laughs> what is the attraction? I have no idea. What keeps us fascinated? This is the story of Chris Chan. That it is. That it is. Captain's Log, Stardate, February 8, 2009. Christian uploaded a video announcing his new website domain. The uh, Sanchi site is back up. It's at uh, sonichuandrosechu.com. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's where it <clears> is now. <throat> okay. Uh, yeah, I've been under distress lately. Uh, the recent one where uh, y'all may have watched the videos, the uh, last two videos before this one. Mm. Yeah, forced into doing that. I won't be repeating that again, uh, hopefully. Was that when he admitted he was gay or whatever? Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> Not. Uh, hopefully I won't be repeating that. Would I debate Christian? Well, I think that maybe that's a lawyer's job at this point, because I'm pretty sure they're still in jail, so. Use that take. Anyway, also, uh, if you the after pains from that, I find out that, uh, there's been some brush fire or wildfire, that sort of stuff. Fire. Uh, yep. Going on in the southern Australia area. Yeah, yep. he thought, like, a girl he was talking to, like, died in the fire, because there was wildfires going on in Australia, but she doesn't even live, that's where they said the character was from. But she said she was, like, from, like, northern um, Australia or whatever. <laughs> this is crazy. Where my sweetheart, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, Panda Halo, <clears throat> she was... Uh, what was that? What did I just miss? Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, Panda Halo. <clears throat> did he just fart? I mean, I... Sarah same, Cassandra but... McKenzie, Panda Halo. <clears throat> did he just she come? Was, uh, in that, she was in that neck of the woods. And what? I haven't heard from her. That what it was, dude? You gotta be careful. Holy in like uh, over two weeks. That, uh. N word of the woods, bro? Come on. Fire's been going on for like, uh, past, during the past few weeks, so. I pray that she's still alive. Okay. I hope she didn't die in the Same. fire. <laughs> the Same, I guess, yeah. Sarah, if you, if you are hearing this message, please let me know. Please don't that die. You're safe. And also, let me know. Sarah, if you hear this. Can I still expect you over at my house? Or are you going to go to Clyde? Okay. Please let me know. Hey, Sarah, I think you're dead, but... Are you going to fuck me? Like, what the, what the fuck is this, Chris? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, my God. Because I miss you. Wow, incredible. I still care deeply about you, Sarah. Sarah Hart. Okay. Two days later, he posted a video in which he attempted to showcase that the promise he made to Clyde Cash about cleaning up his room had been fulfilled. For example, there's a I more walking space. Look right here, there's definitely some place between that and the bed. Okay. And you look over here. It's like garbage all over the floor. But you know what? Part of that's problem is, is because they have carpeting. Carpeting is not good. More walking space to the door. <laughs> and I got that tub off the uh, top of my couch, okay. so I don't fall down and hit anyone. I had to leave the stuff, other stuff up there. But at least I didn't have to compromise much. But also, uh, after talking about that, and like, no, no, no. What was that? Clyde, now that I've kept my promise. Oh, very good. Ich bin schwell, Julie. Ich bin schwell. Chris was under the misapprehension that the phrase... What are you doing? Is this from... Is this like a Saturday Night Live thing? It meant, I love you, in Mulvanian, when in fact, it was the German equivalent for I am gay. I have received in the mail today... A Wait, hold on, what? In Mulvanian. Julie, ich bin schwell. Chris was under the... <laughs> ich bin schwell. I thought you said it's been swell. I thought, what the fuck was happening? He's, been, he's saying, I'm gay in German? Misapprehension that the phrase meant, I love you, in Mulvanian, when in fact, it was the German equivalent for, I am gay. I have received in a mail today, a letter from Nintendo of America, in response <laughs> to the piece I sent in the snail mail. Okay. It comes from Mike Chandler over there, no relation, at least as far as I know. It has okay. proven my, my family and my congregations as well as my own theories. I shall read to you from beginning to end. Mr. Shiguro Miyamoto 
did not have a meeting scheduled with you, nor has he, has he been corresponding with you. Mr. Miyamoto speaks and writes only very limited English, and our game development teams do not accept unsolicited games, suggestions, or ideas. Although Mr. Miyamoto... May I still find it incredible that he got a response. You know what I mean? Like, I still find it insane. Like ...occasional business trips to the U.S., he spends the majority of his time in Japan at Nintendo's headquarters. Wow. So, he doesn't even go. He doesn't even go to, get to go home. That sounds horrible. I was never in correspondence with Mr. Miyamoto or Reggie Phil Imes at all. Wow. They were imposters. Who would have thought? thought as much. No, you didn't. So, there, there <laughs> you, you was. You literally did not. Black and white from Nintendo of America. He later joined a mumble chat and recapped the latest developments concerning Nintendo. Well, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, it's an, it's an official letter, letter from Nintendo of America. America. Because uh, the envelope is as, 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 just like the previous envelopes I got from Nintendo of America, as well as the uh, letterhead on the letter. Yeah, it's easy to forge. It was tight, and, and it has a signature on there. Oh, so now their angle is going to be like, oh, but how do you know that's not the fake one? Maybe we're telling you the truth. Wow. Expert, expert settings here, to be honest with you guys. Just because it's typed and it has a signature doesn't mean it's real. In fact, wouldn't typing it make it even yeah. easier to force since it's not handwriting? Later oh, on, shit. one of Chris's cats, True. Lucy, arrives. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. My cat, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, can I talk to the kitty? Hi, Lucy. There you go. Two days later, convinced by Julie. Did he kill the cat? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the hell just happened there? Christian created a new section on his Sonichu and Rosechu.com website called Sonichu and Rosechu's Love Shack, which consisted of Great. sexual imagery concerning his Sonichu characters. Incredible. It was designed to be protected by an age restriction. Most of the drawings were simply pages from the Sonichu comics, but as time went on, he updated the section Very regularly with new renderings. On February 13th, audio of a sex chat on Skype between Chris and Julie emerged. During the 20 minute long virtual intercourse, Julie's voice cannot be heard, but it can be determined that they are role playing, with Julie possibly as a cat and Chris as Sonichu. Yeah. Sounds of Chris masturbating can be heard throughout. Does. Is. Is that the sound of his master? Is that what you're trying to tell me? This is very. It's very inappropriate, okay? It's very inappropriate. Um. But also, kind of feel bad for him for that, you know? Pachoo, pachoo. Incredible. Wow. I sent a few short static shocks of your of your pussy. No. Wow. 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 Incredible. <sighs> you know, I'm really trying to um I'm debating the ethics <laughs> on what the what the fuck is happening here. I'm just I'm really I'm I'm taken aback. I I I feel like I feel like we shouldn't be listening to this. You know what I mean? Like we maybe we shouldn't be listening to this. Maybe this is too private. Maybe we should turn this off right now. But the real question is are but are we going to? And the answer is going to be no. <laughs> Enough to hurt you too bad, but make it feel good. Let me just hold on. Hold on a second. Can be heard throughout. I sent a few short static shocks of your of your pussy. Not enough to hurt you too bad, but make it feel good. You're gonna get my milk, kitty cat. After Christian's climax, he is heard drinking a carbonated drink and consequently belches. <sighs> Excuse me. Might say I'm burping because uh, I've quite enjoyed you and your juices. Should I play it? Should I play this? <laughs> Should I stop playing this? I don't know what to do. On the same Help day, me, I'm took part in another mumble chat, during which he reveals the idea Julie had for a video. It's basically a video of me standing up to Clyde and showing him how strong I am, doing a few yeah. kicks with the camera. Or, or yeah, you something. should throw some punches, show him what you're made of. You know, I, I, I pretty much already proved my strength when I yeah. ripped that 
Joe Doe in half. Chris tells a fan that the original she came for quick pick technically it was a vibrator, but was torn up into small squares and placed into an envelope. Why why'd you do that shit? Like and, and well, I understand like, rose at you, but like, you know, why something that's from real life? It's not necessarily from real life, it depends on your interpretation. I mean it, it's hard to I mean, most women have long brown hair and the eyes are censored, so <laughs> yeah, but I remember that one video you were saying is Megan. He he might actually be right. I think I feel like brown hair. Maybe not long brown hair, but brown hair. Most women probably do have brunette hair. I feel like that's probably true. I feel like I think that like red hair is a recessive trait, and I imagine maybe blonde hair would be too. I don't know. He's probably right on accident. I don't know. In the end, it broke up my friendship with. I'm Megan. not going to fact check because I just don't Day, care. 2009. Because Chris it's so and Julie wrong. had another sex chat together, much in the same vein as the one a day prior. Okay, I'm looking at pussy while you're sitting on my face. Trolls were made aware of the cybersex session taking place, and some decided to make use of that knowledge. While Christian was masturbating, four calls were made to the family phone by trolls attempting to convince Bob to walk in on his son. The first three callers were dismissed by Bob, who told him that Chris was sleeping. The fourth caller exclaimed that Chris had posted a video on YouTube saying that he was going to kill himself. Understandably wow. concerned, Bob went in to check on him. Christian, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm getting all these crazy damn calls. What are you doing? Nothing. Give me that crap. Now, what's going on? Dad, will you get out of here? No, I will not. People tell me that you're about to kill yourself on YouTube. Oh what? God. What is your trouble? I'm not going to kill myself. Get away from that TV. Honey, get away from the internet. I'm cutting it down right now. No, Dad, no. Yes. No, don't do it, Dad. I'm going to shut this thing right down. No. Yes. No. Go wake your mother up. Don't this is where Christian thundershocks his father's bussy. <laughs> Just enough for it to not hurt too bad, you know? Like, what what, what, ha what happens at this point? What the fuck? Tell me. You tell me what's going on. This thing is going to go down. No. Yes. Due to Bob creatively proclaiming that he would cut down the internet, trolls became inspired by his quote and began referring to him as the internet lumberjack. <laughs> After they were disconnected, Christian called Julie again, telling her what happened. Hello, Julie. Yeah, listen, you'll have to talk to me. I'm calling you from my PSP. It does not accept type feedback. How are you? How are you talking to her from her, your PSP? What the fuck? I told my mother about you. Yeah, uh, she says she'll believe it when she sees you in person. What am I gonna do now? Mm. Well, pretty much my uh, erection has uh, been on the and I'm not doing any move for it right now. But you know, hey, from the bright side, we still had our fun little Valentine's Day date in the big, in the big planet. Okay, that's Two sweet. days later, Christian found out that his aunt Karina was in a very ill state, and it oh, was very likely that she would pass away soon. Later on, Chris and Julie chatted on the PlayStation Network, where they discussed his aunt's condition. Now, yeah, I might have to go visit aunt Karina this weekend, but she did not invite me along because I need to stay home, help, uh, you know, be here for my father in case something happens to him, and I got mad to the cats. Yeah. She also addresses his job prospects, with Chris claiming that he would look for paid volunteer work, and Julie questioning his use of the word volunteer. The next day, Chris and Julie had another PSN chat covering <laughs> paid volunteer work. I did I didn't even catch it, to be absolutely honest. I didn't even catch it. Many of the same topics. Uh, so, what is this show? Yeah, I'm not sure which is the way to go see Yeah, I'm Hmm. Listen, talk to Tom Julie on the PSN network. She wants to do a theology. I'm not able to talk to anybody right now. Will you leave the room? Uh, Somebody fart? Someone fell. Julie encourages him to make a video with one of his inflatable sex dolls. What about that ball doll? Don't you have like two of these? Oh, the uh, blow up doll. Yeah, I did have two. One for backup, but uh, like a few weeks ago, when I was uh, doing a thing with it, it got an internal injury and uh, deflated. Aw. Uh, wait, how did it get punctured, though? Was it punctured with your... You know, too much uh, fresh, too much uh, humping force, you might say. Oh, if you want to call that. But, uh, like, you know, possibly some weight. But, you know, I had a good run. Okay. Chris, you know what you should do? You should try and make that video, you know, of you doing your thing with Walt for me. All right, I'll make that video for you tonight. Very nice. Later Thank you, Christopher. Day, Christian took part in a group chat on Christian. Rumble. I got me to consider Christmas channel. It's bad. Yeah, take a deep breath and accept it, because it's real. 
A little while later, he talks about how he recycles his semen. I have this friend, I think he might be gay. Um, I don't think he's unmasculating, he drinks his own semen, is that gay? Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think so, because uh, I've done that, I, it's called recycling it. Why? You know, I'm sure technically it is considered recycling it, you know, because you're taking it and you're putting it back in your body. And so I would imagine that's a form of recycling. But I, I think if I remember this story correctly, young Christopher thinks that uh, you need to do that so that you don't run out of semen. Yeah, you've done that too? Yeah, same. Basically recycling, so it's like uh, he doesn't necessarily have to lose it. I mean, because, you know, you think of it as a waste if you... I you bang it out, and then you uh, and then you put it in, and it's like you flush it down the commode or leave it in the uh, condom and put it in the garbage can. So well, well why, why the fuck would you... What the fuck's a commode? Okay, we're asking the wrong questions here. Do you jerk off of the condom, Chris? Whatever. Um, I wonder if this whole perspective of, you know, swallowing the booger, as we'll call it, because, you know, cum is oozy like a booger. I wonder if that comes from his deeply held Christian ideology. Now, I know you're probably thinking, I was like, Papa, God, that doesn't make any sense. But it does, because I, you're wrong. And the reason that it makes sense, if you think about it, and that's what we're going to do, is because, like, obviously Christians are, like, they're, they're, you know, they're very religious, and they think that you should only have sex for procreation. So by this logic, if he doesn't do, if you don't use it, you'll lose it, you know, it would become a waste unless you, of course, recycle it. Um... The logic is there. Papa, do and you I think, think you know Chris that. Chan is the most documented person in history because I believe he is? I think so. I do think that. I think that's a, a very, a very, a very astute observation that you've made, and I respect that. Thank you. Is it by stomach acid? Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, still, it's the old part of new sperm cells. Plus, also, I've learned on the internet that there's vitamins in the, in the sperm cells as well. But so it's like uh, basically you're helping yourself when you do that. Although first, although first, I'm kind of sick of uh, spawning my own. Chris, what the so, fuck are you talking about? Disposing of them. I mean, it's, it just okay. depends on your own individual taste. Chris discusses the prospects of a threesome. My name's Emily. Oh, hi, Emily. I don't understand why you're so single, honestly. I Tell me about same. it. Same. <laughs> oh, I am in love with uh, Julie right there, who just uh, spoke yeah. just now. Yeah, me too. Oh, she, she sounds like she's really pretty. Maybe we can have threesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Chris also tells Julie that he would be willing to participate in a threesome. Hey, listen, who, 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 how else would you react? Would you like to have a threesome? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how I would react, too. Other man. The other members of the chat responded by accusing him of wanting to engage in homosexual activity, but he defended himself by stating that it isn't gay as long as their testicles do not come in contact with each other. Uh, I guess I would accept a threesome with two women. Uh, you hear that, Emily? Uh, after Julie and I died, he says we can invite you. That'd be really cool. I mean, we can go shopping at a sex store beforehand. Um, Chris, um, it's me, it's certainly hard. Hi, Sarah. I, I thought you were going to really, really chocolate about this person. Oh. I thought it was going to be special. It can't be special, Sarah. It can't be. Okay. I'm really upset right now. I feel like you don't care about me. Sarah, I do care about you. I'm sorry I upset you. Incredible. Thank you, Chris. Emily asks a question about genital piercings, referring to penises. By the when did the, the guy gay stuff come in? I didn't even hear that. But it's also weird that he thinks that, like, touching balls is gay. Like, but, like, what about touching penises? Is that not gay? Like, what, you know, like, what's the homosexuality in male sex is in the balls, apparently. Which, if you think about it, is kind of transphobic. Because then that, by that logic, two trans gay, like, men can't be have gay sex. Um, so. Femism, <laughs> ducks. Or, because it can't be gay, because they don't have balls, you know what I mean? That's, that's the, what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that would you consider that a euphemism? I don't know. Can you spell it Y O O P H I M E S M? Excuse me, I'll be right back. Julie asks Chris about his penis. What is he gonna like pull out the dictionary and like look it up? What the fuck?
Well, I don't. Okay, well, I don't know why it's bent down, but I just assumed it was natural. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is natural. To have it bent. Mine's bent to the right a bit. Um, for your duck to be a little bit bent, you know. What I mean, that's just a natural occurring thing. But well, maybe because I've been wearing briefs all my life, and that uh, could have uh, forced it to be bent downward when it gets stiff. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Have you ever used the one? Yes, I have. But I, but my penis was already bent downward before I used the pump. We're really asking the important questions here, if you think about it. Um, so, I, I, for the record, I did not say fire, I took extents. And my dick was bent downward before I took that as well. Why did you use the pump and the extents? I always felt like my dick could be longer. Yeah, those don't actually work. They can actually cause damage to your penis and cause it to bend. I don't think that they do. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that kind of stuff, like what it really does is it just makes you like more horny and you think it's bigger, you know? Because, you know, as a man, you know how, like, the, um, you know how it is. You know how it be when you got, like, the, when you feel, like, extra, extra thick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You feeling extra thick, you know? And you're like, wow, it's really big today. It's not that it's bigger. Instead of being at 100%, it's at 115%, you know? What the fuck? Yes, yes. Well, for the record, mine does go to a maximum of seven inches. Wow. Well, it's better if it's bent. Well, imagine, imagine Christian has a bigger penis than you. How would that make you feel? How would you make you feel, guys? Uh, answer in the comments below. I used a ruler. Yeah, first I guess the uh, bent part, I get straight, so it does go maximum of seven inches in height. Yeah, my dad was a doctor. He always told me to stay away from these things. Christian and Sarah May get what? into a heated argument because Julie had second thoughts about her involvement in a possible threesome scenario. I swear, I will not uh, have sex with Sarah May. It's not fair, Chris. It's not fair. Why would you do this to me? I didn't know back then. I'm sorry. I feel so broken right now. Julie and Chris agree that adultery is frowned upon in the Bible. Well, I, I mean, I'm Jewish. Is, is that okay? Oh, you're Jewish? I did, yeah. not, know, I did not know that. Yes, that's okay, Julie. I was really afraid. <laughs> wow, so affirming of you. Jewish girls are hot, though, if we're being honest. That you would get really upset with me. No, it's okay. I'm not upset with you, Julie. And I accept the fact that you are Jewish. Wow. Uh, and also, uh, if I may offer an input, uh, to, uh, if I heard correctly, uh, people who are Jewish were not supposed to have sex outside their religion? Yeah, people Is that true? Because I feel like that's not true. I think you can marry outside of your religion. I think you're supposed to take the... In the Jewish religion, you're supposed to take the religion of the mother? Is that how that works? I believe that, but not all of them. Do you believe that? Yeah, I, I think as long as the people love each other, then it's okay. Love and Julie, you are right. Christian calls Sarah May by the wrong name four times in a row. That was me, not Julie. Why are you calling me Julie, Chris? Oh, no, I said yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, do you, can you pretend that? Are you pretending that I'm Julie? <laughs> oh my god. No, no, I'm Julie? No, no, Sarah. No, I'm not. Why would you do that to me? I'm sorry, it was an accident. How could you make it a stupid oh. accident like that, Chris? I'm not perfect. We're not perfect. We're only human. But we have rights to make mistakes. I am really just... But um, it, it's okay. just like when you're having sex with somebody and you're saying somebody else's name, do you know what that would feel like? Do you know what this is doing to me right now, Chris? I, Sarah, I do understand. Because I have seen that situation on television. Sarah May threatens to kill herself. <laughs> I've seen that situation on television. <laughs> like, well, like on, on I Love Lucy. I'm kidding myself right now. No, no, don't, no, 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 no. I'm not going to You can't stop me. No, Sarah, oh, Sarah, God. put the knife down. I'm, I'm doing no, it. Put the knife down, oh, Sarah. My God. You don't need to do this. You have a lot to live for, Sarah. So like what? Ask him. You have your family, you have your friends, you have your future. Also, Sarah, I say Cassie, 23 samples on my box of hair. Why are you <laughs> Why would you actually tell her that? Like, I know she's strolling, but he doesn't think that. Why would you tell her that? Are you trying to get her to kill herself? What the fuck's happening here? Are you telling me this? Why? Because uh, I know. I know from Cassie's promise, she will send you one of those punks. But that doesn't matter right now. You don't even want to talk about this. Sarah, I'm trying to make it feel better. I'm trying, I'm trying to help you. Wow. I have to go now. I can't take this anymore. Sarah, 
I can't take this anymore. Don't cut or kill yourself. No, I, I'm doing it right now. Goodbye, no. friends. Goodbye. Sarah, I love you as a friend. This is horrible. This is so horrible. I love you as a friend. Holy shit. That's fucked up too. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Oh my it's god. It's my fault. Chris. Yeah. Sarah May, maybe God, but how my blessings I still have you. Thank you. It's so fucked up because Chris probably didn't even really care about Sarah. Like he was like in love with Julie or whatever. So that's all his brain can focus on right now, I guess. Holy shit. After the chat ended, Christian made a video addressing his concern for Sarah May. Sarah, oh, nice. I feel terrible about what about the big mistake I made in that in our conversation. I hope you don't do anything stupid. I pray you're still alive and well. Because if you killed, if you committed suicide or hurt yourself because of my actions, I just I feel terrible. Is this real crime? I don't really know. I care about you. Uh, let's just hope that she doesn't submit suicide. As a friend, and you are a sweet friend. You are a sweetest among my sweetest friends. He definitely is a weird fellow. I have made in my lifetime. I, I just cried. I lost you. <laughs> hopefully, I'll get to talk to you again soon. Yeah, hopefully. I love you, sir. May. Me too. I love you as my friend. How do I do this myself? Immediately after, he made another video talking about the choice language he had used concerning homosexual men, possibly as a response to allegations of hypocrisy emanating from participants of the recent mumble chat. It's so interesting because I remember like being a content creator and like, you know, you get into some sussy business and then you feel the need to respond and there's like a level of distress associated with it, like your frustration. You're like, ah, you know, and that's just the Christian is just in a perpetual state of distress <laughs> and then laughing, but it's really fucked up if you think about it. It's terrible. This is horrible. Captain's log. Star date. February. February. Oh February 18th. You know it's like February? February. You think it's I thought it was February. It's Feb February. February. Look, it's real. Look it up, bitch. Nine. <clears throat> Forgive my sniffles. I just did video dedication. I just wanted to make I hey, forgive my sniffles. I just did a cum tribute to Sarah for <laughs> She said she was going to submit suicide, so I did come tribute for her. Statement. To retract using the, ever using the word hate among the uh, gay populace. I, I, I was under a lot of stress, and I'll admit I made a bad word choice when I, used, when, I, when I chose that word. I am capable of associating and being friends and respecting all gays. I'm doing this on my heart. Believe me. Wow. Fantastic. But hey, but you know, beyond respect... And, Can you believe uh, that this was the look back then? Like, the those glasses? That was the look back then. It's crazy. Uh, friendship? No. But I do not hate the gay population. The following day, Fantastic. Chris and Julie met again over PSN, where they discussed the voices Chris hears in his head. I also uh, give random audio... And we're off to my, between my audio and my philodactic memory, where uh, it's like, you know, other people saying, Christian is gay. What did I say? Christian is gay. Yeah. Do you really yes. think you're gay? No, I do not. I'm straight. When questioned about the dubious sex toys in his possession, Chris responds truthfully. True. I put a condom on the uh, dildo and I actually did put up my uh, a-hole. Uh, wow. Um, well, that is gay to put things in your butt as a man. And that's okay. It's okay that it's gay. It's a little gay, though. <clears throat> but the real question is, why did you feel the need to put a condom on it? Did you... Like, what was the motivation for that part? I Just very curious. Um, it seems... Unnecessary to me. Unless you thought you were going to get yourself pregnant. And I don't think you could do that. I could be wrong, honestly. I'm not that well-versed. Uh, but I don't think you get yourself pregnant with a uh, with a vibrator dildo toy. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what being, uh, it just did not feel right to me. You no, know, but like, you know, honestly, you know, we, we, you know, listen, bro, listen, we've all been through those stages. I, I, I've been through the butthole stage and I feel like it is gay, but it is, it's okay that it's gay. 
And I feel like people judge you too much for wanting to experiment with things in your butthole. And, you know, like, I mean, like, it's a natural curiosity, I think, for every man. And, um, you know, we have very normalized <laughs> hatred of feminine men and homophobia, specifically for men. And the women don't have that issue. You know, it, it's a behavior that's not encouraged in young girls, but discouraged in like experimenting with your friends. But for guys, you can't do any of that gay shit or else you're uh, a loser and you need to stop. You're not a real man. So, you know, you grow a little older and you're like, you know what? <laughs> you want your girl to maybe put a finger up there. Maybe, you know, tickle it. <laughs> tickle it where you're, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to move on. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna interrupt that thought, and I'm just gonna move on. So. Did you tell me about the beats? Yeah, I've been with my uh, ankle uh, the one time, and uh, uh, didn't really know how they work. So, uh, you know, I just. Dominic Saint Clair tipped one. Hey, dollar. thank you so much hey, for man, sorry for the money. tricking you into clicking onto my shout out video. I was high, but that doesn't excuse <laughs> my behavior when comes something like that. My apologies. It was. It was funny, bro. Don't you're, you're giving yourself too much. Uh, you're stressing yourself too much, brother. Like, you know, it was like winging it, and uh, it didn't really uh, turn me on or anything. So, no I pulled them out in the, in the string of the beach, recovered in the something, put in the trash can, I forget about. Chris? Yeah. Wow. Um, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it was possible for Chris Chan to make me feel so uncomfortable so often. But it's happening in real time. How was there poo on it? I understand you put it in your, your booty hole. But like, why was why is there poo on it? That's not normal. Is that normal? That's not normal. I disagree that there's not normal. I feel like I feel like that doesn't happen. Um, like I, I, I've never had that problem. But it makes sense because he there was another episode where he talked about how there was like poo um, on his underwear or something. So I guess that makes sense. Thank you for telling me this. I'm happy that you're able to share these secrets with me. I mean that as in I'm happy that we have a trusting relationship between you and I. Beautiful. You see me smile because I'm smiling. I can see you smile. I truly love you, Chris. I love you too, Julie. After a lengthy chat concerning Chris's sexual activities, he disclosed his PSN account password to Julie. Why? Later again, Bob joined the chat, inquiring about her home country. Here's my dad. Hello. Hello. That's that's Julie Novania. She came all the way from. Mulvania. Mulvania. We were just looking at it on map. Next to former former part of the former Soviet Union. That's not that can't be true. Is that true? Is this Mulvania's fake? I swear it's fake. Are you saying that Mulvania is real? USSR. The gypsy country. Ah. You have any gypsy violins there? Yeah, I see. Because the thing is, I, I quit a while ago, Chris, because it just, I don't know why. People doubt Mulvania so much. It's, well, it's the whole countries keep changing. And I keep telling Chris, I've been around for 81 years, and I've seen this world change a lot. Wow. And it's hard to keep track of which countries or what countries anymore or what they were earlier. Very few people, particularly in this country. Really That's why I just don't care about other countries. It makes life so much easier when you just don't care about anybody but yourself, you know? That's that's how I operate in my life. Stand the makeup of the world. I have been very interested in the world since I was 10 years old. Wow. I'm very fond of and I really truly believe in it. That's not a normal um, interaction for anybody that's 10 to, th to think about other things or like the world, to try to reach outside themselves. It's so atypical, you know? It's crazy how, how genuine you are. <laughs> you, in the United Nations. But you won't find anybody else in my countryside around here, I think, that does. But anyway, I'm, I'm very world conscious. Yes. And I've tried to train Christian, but it's awful hard for him to understand because he, he knows about Charlottesville and he knows about our little county here in Green and he knows about places that are 50, 100 miles away. But he doesn't really comprehend, I think, countries or cities or uh, anything that's, that's really farther away. Like I mean, that might be true, but he does comprehend Quickville, uh, a.k.a. his hometown in his popular comic books. Quickville, the where all of all your dreams can come true. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. What the fuck, bro? Get out of here. I don't think he really comprehends Europe or, or Asia. Or Gotta take him to Euro Disney.
then he'll comprehend it. Anywhere like that. And, uh, and I find it hard to have most people think about that or comprehend that. Because I'm, kind of, I'm sure. kind of a loner. Oh, wait. You know, it, it was an inter- interesting life I had. But I'm still, I'm still much more world conscious than, uh, than I think most of the people in, in this country anyway. At least yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You won't find many people like me around. Is dad, is dad hitting on Julie right now? Is dad trying to fuck? Is he trying to slide? What the fuck's happening? Yeah. That's like the nerd in history class. Yeah, well, you know, Stephanie, uh, I do I do know where every country is on the map. It's like, okay, nerd. <laughs> okay, nerd. You think, do you think Stephanie gives a shit about that? Stephanie doesn't give a fuck about where Ukraine is, if it's even real. Stephanie... Once, I don't know. I don't. Know, I, I feel uncomfortable making sexualized jokes because we're talking about kids in school. But you, you, you get, you get, you get the joke. You get the joke here, okay? I'm, 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 uh, since I've retired, which has been not for twenty years, I guess I really haven't had much contact with people, so I don't get to talk about all this much. Yeah. I've, I've tried to teach Chris. Maybe join like a Facebook group or something if you need the attention. Yeah. And then what if he's uh, got any comprehension of the world or not? Uh, I don't know. He had a tough time with Australia a few months. This is the this is obviously the best thing that you could say to your to who you think your son's girlfriend is. Yeah, I think my kid's a fucking moron. I don't think he comprehends things. I think he's an idiot. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah, no problem, uh, Chris. No problem, Christian. You fucking moron. I just I personally think that maybe this is the inappropriate action to take. Uh, just belittling your child in front of who you think is his girlfriend. But okay. Back. Back. We finally got it through his head where Australia was. But I, I, I love the, all the foreign countries and all the foreign music because I love music. Wow. And I've got cool. maybe 15 to 20,000 uh, long play records wow. of uh, classical music and uh, some classical music. Wow, this guy has high school musical on the record? I didn't even know that they made the high school musical album on the records. Wow, I thought that that was something a little newer. But hey, I learn something new every day. Thanks, brother. Music, and jazz, and blues. The recording abruptly ends. Nice. On February Thank 20th, God, honestly. a video called <laughs> For Julie's Eyes Only, which featured Christian having sex with a sex doll, Kimmy, was no, uploaded onto doesn't. the porn aggregate Slutload, allegedly by oh. Julie's brother, Max. Incredible. Aside from his white socks, Chris is naked throughout. He uses the sex doll to simulate intercourse. God, if you, if you leave the socks on, it's not gay. It's, that is the rule. Forced with Julie, calling out her name many times. After the video was recorded, he confessed to Julie that his condom broke. I'm sorry, this is so terrible, but the way he calls out Julie's name, Julie, it's it's too much. It's too much for my old soul to bear. I'm not sure I'll survive the rest of this video. <laughs> During the recording, and he had to replace it. Wow. The incredible. video eventually amassed over 3 million views. Wow. Which one the of my videos day, did that? Aunt Karina passed away. Probably Christian not. Christian informed Julie one. about this over Skype and revealed that her funeral would take place on his birthday, which unfortunately clashed with a pancake dinner he was hoping to go to with his church congregation. He also began planning a trip to Julie's residence oh, in Ohio. God. She convinced him to make a video professing his love for her. Wow. Chris delivered his 10 minute long offering. Do you think that it was a difficult uh, prof- like a video to get her to like profess your love for me? Do you think she had to like really convince him or think he was like, you know, problem, Julie, I really do love you. So I'll do that. With a pseudo Shakespearean panache. I love you, Julie, so very much. You are, you strike my thought at every moment. And it makes me, it makes me ponder with such... You know, sorry to interrupt. He got 3 million views on, like, a porn website, yeah? <clears throat> That's interesting. Because, like, it was obviously a weird joke. Could you, like, is there is there an untapped market? Is there an untapped market on um, Pornhub for, like, like, f- not really porn, you know? Like, guys just, like, embarrassing their girls, embarrassing themselves. And, like, it's not even supposed to be sexy for anybody. It's just supposed to be, like, humiliating, you know? Like, is there a market? Is that an untapped market? <clears throat> it's interesting. Love and desire. I love you so much. Nice. It's very good. And uh, we yet to have a similar storyline to uh, Romeo and Juliet. It's the first what's thing I missing? thought. Missing. It'd be like, if we had that, it'd be like, Christiano and Juliet. But every night you can, cry. every night you may cry, Christiano, Christiano, where far out thou, Christiano? Wow. And I would be there. Okay. In, in your heart. Makes so much where sense. Where my heart is with you. Um. Where if I call you out, for, I would be there in your heart. And I would personally be calling out, I am here, O fair Juliet. 
says no says no word thy name Keeps be heard every moment every waking moment very romantic. And Ju- the sun is in the east and Juliet is the sun though I oh, know Chris, not- that is gay okay saying that you professing your love for somebody's son is gay okay Christian what are you doing Shakespeare but at least I know enough to get it by and let's not forget my uh, past my uh, past yeah mm. I will only mention her once but panda I know that you are Somewhere up there, after the fire, <laughs> and we will not forget you. Wow, yes, I can't. <laughs> I promise you, Julie, that mm. in the near future, hopefully with the power of God at mm. our side, we'll be together very soon. Where the power of God can influence even the uh, most paranoid of souls, I'm sure. Sure. So I pray to Him every night. Oh, wait, these are all like good. That now. you and I would be together, with full yeah. emotional support. Nice. From everyone within our reach, within our respective reach. Okay. Cool. This is pretty suspicious. I'm hiding it, Julie. Mm. Wow, that's uncomfortable. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Hope not. On the same yeah. day, the solitude girl's form was revealed to be a ruse, the creation oh, of which attributed what? to Clyde Cash. Chris confronted it was Clyde fake? in a mumble chat. To Christian's surprise, the troll was accompanied by a veritable squadron of trolls who called themselves the Miscreants, who are all members of the PVCC trolling group. Welcome to the Brothers. Miscreants. Brother. 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 Oh first, stop God. this. Look, first off, I did that video just for Julie, and her brother found it on her computer and uploaded it to the YouTube without neither of our consent. Do you understand what the Miscreants are? And her brother That's is true. Part of it. He's been a very valuable... A Christian seems to understand consent very well here. I wonder what happened. Remember, do you understand what the miscreants are, Chris? Let me guess, y'all are a bunch of trolls, aren't you? No. Yeah. No. Look, ever since Evan posted those gay pictures with a masturbated and squirting, we have been there from the beginning. Wow. Do you remember Jason? Always a valuable member, always a brethren to take the fall for me. Creating the easy page, getting your emails, he was a good member too. And can't you remember Blanca, the one who destroyed your medallion? Remember? Yeah. All part of the miscreants, Chris. And the latest member, Stella McKenzie. Or, you know us, Panda. She's not dead. She's alive. At oh my, my god. Kind of sleeping right now. I think he's talking This is. Anyway. I know that they're trolling him, but this is incredibly cringe. Like, oh my god. Like, these guys are kind of like, they're like neck bearding this so hard. Can't believe yourself, for her. We've been here from the beginning. Do you know why, Chris? To try and make a slander on me and a fool? Probably. No, the goal is to make sure you never get laid. That is the goal of the Oh my god. Goal. Virginia is for virgins. And the goal is that you are a virgin forever. <laughs> Virginia is for virgins. This is horrible. Oh my god. Why do y'all have to pick on me like this? A good question. You don't care about women. That I do care about women. He must be made an example of, of a horrible man, destined to never to ever have a wife or even girlfriend. Shut up! Why do you have to pick on me like this? You don't need to do this. Don't you all have lives of your own? Can't you go find your own sweethearts to do with? He's not wrong. Chris Chris is not wrong here. Um, He's really not. Why do you think a sweetheart will solve everything? Look, I care, I care about the women for their own personalities. I can't no, you don't. my life. No, you don't. Bullshit. You don't. You don't. I care about their personalities, What? I care about their personalities. I care about them, about how they feel. I care about... Everything about them. It, Chris, inside. you don't respect them. You only respect their cunts. Uh, what? what? You gotta respect the ladies, man. I do respect the ladies. Why no, that? Don't. Why'd that guy sound like Jason Stackhouse from True Blood? Like, what the fuck? You're a fucking stairs bucket, you stupid bag. What the fuck are you doing here right now, Chris? Um, uh, TOS. <laughs> what the hell? Why did you settle down? Uh. Hang yourself, Chris. Kill yourself. Spur us. No. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! How the fuck did you censor any of this? Holy we shit! We don't want him to. Die. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Down. I got my own Marina's oh death God. to worry about in her funeral tomorrow. You know. Worst case scenario, I get banned on Twitch. I just stream on YouTube, so I don't. I don't care that much. But holy fuck, <laughs> it's just too much. Okay, I don't care. How much? You don't care. You don't care. Arjun, you're fucking abusing him. Arjun, you just went yeah, overboard. Damn. I mean, we're basically just talking, and we weren't actually like. Well, that. Well, Jesus, don't worry. Chris, the morality of Christian trolls. How beautiful and sweet.
So nice and and tender and warm. We'll come back when he realizes Julie's in danger. Yes. What we should do is have like quote Julie unquote be like, oh no, my brother's like with the miscreants, and no, they're holding me hostage. Like my after a short oh while, Chris indeed comes back. Uh, look, I'm sorry about a lot of my past mistakes about uh, not listening to everyone. Okay, but I have been under a lot of stress. True. What is this stress? He's got to go to her funeral and he has to miss the pancake breakfast day or whatever the fuck he was talking about. So that's a lot of stress. She was more sad about her birthday. my birthday of all days. I'm very upset about my Aunt Karina. She was a very sweet woman. But you seem to complain about it being on your birthday. I feel sympathy for my Aunt Karina. She she smoked and she had and when she went to the hospital she died at the age of seventy five. She her her, 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 her cancer deteriorated her left lung and her liver and her brain. And they kept her alive for as long as they could until she until she breathed until she breathed the last breath. It's like weird because he sounds like a, like a character from uh he sounds kind of like a voice actor from Conker's Bad Fur Day for some reason. I don't know if anybody can identify with that uh, feeling, but <laughs> why is Chris in jail uh, for molesting his mother who has dementia? Uh, sexually assaulting, really. <clears throat> Interesting story. I think the trolls convinced uh, him to try to sleep, that his mom loved him and try to sleep with her. It's... Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Hey, baby, I'm probably going to be streaming for a while. Chris, silence. Silence. Let him cry. But he still does still not excuse you for all your other past actions. Ah, but I'll admit, I'm possibly retarded, okay? My mind doesn't think so swift yet. But oh I'm, I'm likely to even make mistakes on a flight without even realizing it. I sometimes don't even give thought to some of the actions that I do before. I do, but I gave a lot of thought before when I moved from moved from uh, Panda the Julie, because I thought she, because I thought she had died that fire. As the miscreants continued to insult Chris, he was simultaneously chatting with Julie's brother Max, who took over her Skype account. Max told Christian that he had kidnapped her and was taking her to the miscreants HQ in oh. Ohio, giving Chris five days to come rescue her. Look, Chris, this, this is the sad, sad truth. You are going to grow up and die now. I'm sorry to tell you this. Well, leave me, look, just, just shut up, leave me alone, leave me alone. We're trying to help. Leave my, leave my love life alone. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I just think we went too far. That was a little. I, I, I apologize. I apologize for nothing. I regret even less. I, I, can't I, really I feel really sympathy for the lower beings. I feel sympathy for the parents. Well, I feel sympathy for Bob. Bob, yes. you feel yourself. Yeah. I feel the lower sympathy for the dog. Yeah. Was he really crying? Because I like. I like. Christian returns once again to inform the miscreants that Julie was taken to their headquarters. Uh, and that's Julie's brother. Pretty much uh, spirited away, Julie took her to the HQ, to the headquarters, where the uh, miscreants, I think they were called, are. And uh, now what? Uh, Matt wants me to come over to Cleveland within the next five days to pick up Julie from the headquarters. And I'm just trying. Bro, what is with this like consistent pattern of them trying to get Chris to go places? Like they tried to legitimately get him to fly to Japan with his mother to meet like whatever Miyamoto. Like, could you imagine they actually pulled the money together to do that? How fucking horrible that would have been. That's fucking insane, dude. I'm trying to find out uh, what Clyde is planning if he's uh, going to try to force me in jail or uh, hurt me or anything like that. Are you outside the door? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So listen, that's another thing that you know, my mom. You know, my mom is like, you know, she's gonna be telling me, "Don't go, don't go." I worry about it. you know. She's not watching a lot of television. And it's like I'm trying, and I've been trying to convince her to let me go to Julie. But then my mom is also a bit jealous of me loving, of loving another woman more than her. I mean, I know. I mean, I understand. She's. Is that like a real thing that her his mother was like very? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because he's autistic, uh, or a person with autism. I don't know, whatever. Um, so maybe she, like, has, like, a weird thing with him, but... In a situation like cut the umbilical cord, you would say, I'm sure. But still have to respect my mother very much. Hello, Clyde. Uh-oh. Happy uh -oh. birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Sonic Q. Happy birthday oh my God. to you. Oh, dear. Uh, I've been drinking. Well, anyway, uh, 
He just basically want me to test my love for Julie, and uh, well, he just want me to finally show that I am a man and uh, I can uh, stand up for myself and do what I want like a man should. And uh, that's uh, basically it in a nutshell, isn't it? Sure, that's perfect. Okay, well, I'll talk to my mom about it later and put my foot down, because right now she's sleeping and then I have the funeral to worry about. So after the funeral, I will talk to my mom and put my foot down. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, majority of y'all take care and, um, you know, just majority. mingle amongst yourselves for now. Wow. God. God. Oh, okay. He pulls another shit like he did with Redman when he was like, Oh yeah, I just got yeah. back and now Julie's laying in my bed, but I'm not gonna put her on camera. After he left the chat, Christian began preparing for Aunt Karina's funeral and his eventual trip into uncertainty awaiting him in Cleveland, Ohio. Wow. Without a doubt, this would prove to be the most trying birthday of his life. Incredible. The, the ending to that was the the ends they they come out of nowhere and they're just so powerful in these videos I swear that was like what I was like what the fuck like it just really it really hits you you know what I'm saying like it really hits you hard thank you so much for watching guys and another special shout out to all my patreon and twitch subs if you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone go down in the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.